Hello, welcome to Linux Room. My name is Alex. So I finally got my hands on Zorin 17.1 Pro, one of the best looking distros. According to their website, Zorin is the alternative for Windows and Mac OS designed to make your computer faster, more powerful, secure and privacy respecting. Let's look at some of the technical details about Zorin 17. First of all, it's based on Ubuntu 22.04, it was released in December 2023. It will get software updates up to June of 2027. The desktop environment here is GNOME. The supported architecture here is a 64-bit processor, either Intel or AMD, and the Linux kernel is version 6.5. With Pro version of Zorin 17, you get extra premium layouts under uh, the Zorin appearance. Uh, this include the Mac OS like, uh, Windows Classic, uh, Windows 11 like, Chrome OS like, GNOME 2, and Ubuntu like, plus standard layouts that are available on Zorin Core and the rest. Now, if you go to themes, you can decide to either go with the light or dark. I'll go with uh, the auto adjust, which I think is uh, much better. Now, uh, under effects, there is that the desktop cubes. Let me show you that one. If I slide right here, it's using GNOME 43.9. GNOME 46 has just been released, so it's not the latest what we have here, but we can work with this. So the ISO file is pretty huge, it's about 6.3 GB and you get plenty of software applications that are pre-installed here. We have the Firefox browser, we have Caden Live, LibreOffice, we have uh, free cards, uh, fragments, creator right here, our OBS Studio game, some of which you might want to remove just to keep your system running faster and smoother. Uh, personally, I've uh, removed plenty of them and uh, I'm okay with what I have here. Now, I had some concerns before installing Zorin 17. It turned out to be great, except for one thing, installing updates in the background. It can be very frustrating, especially if you have a limited internet connection. So I found a way to restrict all those background processes without breaking my system. Here is a list of all the software apps that I had to remove. We have uh, GNOME software, the update notifier, Zorin OS upgrader, and finally, the software properties GTK. In terms of layout, uh, the layout I have here is the touch layout. It looks great. Scroll to see apps that are running. Uh, you get Zorin Connect, which allows you to pair with your phone and get notifications and messages from your phone directly onto your PC. It works great, but uh, for some reason, if you have firewall enabled, you might have to find another way to allow that connection. Otherwise, it does not detect any devices. Zorin now comes with Wayland, but for my case I had to disable it in order to use uh, the brightness controller which works for controlling brightness on my secondary monitor. Now if you go to settings, there is an option for Zorin updates. This option now takes me to the Zorin website instead of looking for updates for the operating system. If I need updates now, I will have to use apt update and apt upgrade. We have uh, this firewall right here. You can choose to enable it, but keep in mind that uh, by default it comes disabled. In case you decide to uninstall some of the softwares that I mentioned earlier, please make sure that you have updated your drivers for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or even your entire system. If we go to Zorin appearances, uh, let's try the first look. This one looks more like uh, Windows. Then we have the second one, almost like the first one, but uh, a little bit smaller. Then this is what I have, the touch. Then we have the usual GNOME. Uh, you also have the Mac OS like, this one right here, with the dock at the bottom. We also have this one, looks more like uh, XFCE, the Windows 11 like, right here with everything arranged towards the middle. Chrome OS look are almost similar, except this one has a start, the start button towards the left. We also have the Ubuntu layout. This one you can decide to customize. 
Now let me get back to my favorite, which was the, the touch. So there are plenty of uh, nice wallpapers here. You can pick whichever one you prefer. Zorin 17.1 Pro is a beauty. It's faster now and stable. I'm using it as my daily driver at the moment and I might keep it for several months or longer depending on how it behaves. If you enjoyed uh, the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Do subscribe to our channel and thank you guys for watching.